Hello Capricorn viewers. As you guys know, I typically do beginning of the month and mid-month zodiac based videos and I'm going to continue to do these for you guys. But I'm also doing third party and twin flame and soulmate readings as well. So I'm kind of switching things up here on this channel. It's going to be, be getting a little bit more diverse than it was before. But I'll still do these readings as well. So let's see what's going on. So this could be about love, money, uh, third party, new people, old people, whatever the cards want to say. Let me align my camera here. New love, fated encounter. So possibly meeting someone or you met someone. Some kind of, um, there's some kind of divine intervention that needed to happen to bring this person to you. This is like a faded encounter. This is destiny. So this is kind of a situation too of everything just lining up perfectly. Like you, you know, you, you're on your way to work and you spill your coffee. And so you're 15 minutes late for the bus. And then that bus you get on, you know, your soulmate is on that bus. So it's like blessing in disguise kind of energy where everything, the universe is just aligning everything perfectly. Follow the black cat I hear too. This is odd, but some of you, your person has a black cat. Or you're, there's a black cat that's going to be around the area your person is going to be at. So be on the lookout. Just This is just for like one or two of you. But be on the lookout for black cats. Black cats are also a sign of good luck. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Yeah, the divine stepped in here to make this happen. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Someone is jealous of your beauty. You know, see this this energy here? It's like he or she is very beautiful, very mysterious, seductive, enchanting. Someone here is jealous of this feminine energy, masculine or feminine energy. Someone here is jealous. This could be someone that you're not even aware of. So it could be that like your person, like your soulmate, your true love has some drama going on that you don't even know about, like a jealous karmic that maybe they're telling you, oh, it's not a big deal, like we've split up, we have joint custody, you know, but there is actually more jealousy and drama there than you're aware of. And it might not even necessarily be that your person is lying. It could just be that maybe they don't realize just how crazy this karmic is or they think it's over. They think that they're moving on, but they don't know for sure. But really the karmic is just hiding their feelings. So there's some kind of jealous energy here. Listening and understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. And then we've got shyness, fear of rejection, clubs, parties, social life. Could be someone you're going to meet at like a club or a party or a social event for a couple of you. And they might hesitate a little bit because they're going to see you and you're going to be looking, you know, beautiful, sexy over here, handsome. Uh, and they're going to be a little bit afraid of rejection. They're going to want to approach you and they're not going to be sure if you're going to, if you're going to have it. It could be someone you met at a club or, uh, you know, like a bar or some kind of like a festival or some kind of social event as well. Well, and they're a little shy. They might not have, um, maybe this is someone that like didn't take the leap of faith when they could have, but they, they come back around and message you later. Like they, um, Maybe got your contact info, but they never said anything, but now they're sending you a message or they're looking you up on social media or something, like looking you up on Facebook or it's like that kind of energy where it's like maybe in the moment they froze up and they didn't make the move that they needed to make, but I see them coming back around later on and sending you a message, you know, when it's like, it's, you know, easy online, it's easy enough online. It's not as intimidating and, you know, in your face as it is with, um, you know, in person, you know, in person can be intimidating for some people. Yeah, someone's been kind of watching from afar, spying, and they're taking the mask off. They want to, they want to, you know, be strong and confident. This is someone that's kind of shy and awkward, a little nervous around you. They think you're very beautiful. There's something very sexual here. Like they're really, like the way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you walk. There's something about your energy that's just very enchanting to this person. They find you very attractive. So it's taking a lot of willpower to summon the strength and confidence to come forward and send this message. Could be someone that wants to ask you out, like they're just really intimidated by you. Or maybe like you met them at a club, but they weren't sure if you're like a completely interested or you're just being nice. Maybe you, maybe you met them out somewhere and like you guys exchanged contact info, but you said it was like, you know, like maybe you're like a real estate agent or like you work on cars or something like that. And you're like, well you know, call me if you, if you ever get into trouble or call me if you ever want to look at a house. And they were kind of, 
flirting with you, but you didn't get the hint or vice versa. You were flirting with them and they didn't get the hint, but I feel like someone's getting the hint now. Someone's, someone's uh, shy and scared, but they want to see if there's an opening here. They want to see if there's potential. So a lot of you might be getting a message here. And this is like, this is a faded encounter. This is destiny. So I feel like the night that you guys met, either you guys haven't met yet, or you're like, maybe, maybe you're going to meet. Maybe this is how it's going to be when you guys do meet. But a lot of you have already met this person. And I feel, I feel like when you met, it was like divine intervention. Like you weren't planning on going to the club that night, but, uh, something just happened where it's like you just felt like you had to go or you know like I said maybe you're, you you miss the bus and you take the next bus and then you make the you, you meet your soulmate on that bus you know what I mean you um you spill coffee on yourself and you go back to to Starbucks to get another coffee and uh the someone that's in line in Starbucks is you you start up a conversation it's that kind of energy where it's like everything just falls into place just um you know, divine timing, just the, the divine, the spirit guides. Maybe even a black cat here. There could be a cat, a kitty here working to bring you to this person. Could be a crossed over cat for some of you. Maybe you're, you're, you have a little, um, maybe your, your soul son or daughter comes to you and has come to you in cat form, but your cat has crossed over. Um, but so your kitty is coming back or like your, your kitty spirit is kind of hanging around to try to bring you two together basically. You know, they want to see you happy. They want to, they're, you know, like a little kitty spirit guide. But this could be like an actual physical cat as well. That's leading you to your person somehow. Or your person has a cat. Or your person's a cat person. Um, there's something with cats here. Just cats is really, there's something with, with kitties is really coming through strongly. Because, I mean, I normally don't interpret it like that. Usually I just, it's, I put it out there. But for some reason there's something like someone has a cat or someone's a cat person here. Um, there's some kind of energy here with that. But it's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's, a, it's a faded encounter. It's like destiny where it's like, you just, you guys ever seen the movie serendipity? It's like that kind of energy where everything just like aligns for you two to meet. You know what I mean? Like you weren't planning on going out that night, but you, but your friend dragged you out and you just intuitively felt like you had to go, you know, your flight got canceled and you felt like the world was over, but you ended up staying two more days in Minnesota or two more days in New York and you meet someone there that you wouldn't have met otherwise, you know what I mean? Or just, just everything, like the universe has a sense of humor sometimes, you know, like everything, there might've been some mishaps, some drama or some, you know, like missed flights or missed buses, missed, you know, not feeling like going out that night, but you went out anyway, that kind of energy where it all, you know, you can, you're going to look back later and see how it all played together, how the universe stepped in and the divine stepped in and made this happen. For some, though, this person has a karmic that's jealous that could be trying to block them from meeting new people. So the divine had to step in to bring you two together. You know, courage, assertiveness, forward movement. And the divine had to step in to give them the courage, you know, because some of you, like, some of you gave them their, your number, they gave you their number or something, and it took, it had to, it, almost like the divine pushed them to give their number to you or vice versa. Where normally you're kind of shy and quiet, but something just made you feel like, you know what, I can't let that person walk out of that room. I, I can't never see them again. I don't know who they are, but I feel like a spark. I feel some kind of soulmate twin flame connection here. I, I, don't, I know I don't know them. I know it sounds crazy, but I just, I can't let them walk out of this room and never see them again. So if someone gave someone else their phone number, there's some kind of exchange or social media info information or something. I'm getting that, that maybe when you guys met, they didn't have the nerve to make a move, but I'm getting that they're wanting to now via message. Maybe you gave them your phone number or your, your Facebook or Instagram or something, and now they're wanting to send a message here. You know, they've been spying and now they're kind of taking the mask off and wanting to come forward. Yeah, chaser power struggle. Yeah, there's been a, maybe a power struggle for some of you, but I think they're going to choose the love over fear here because they want to get to know you. They want to maybe go out of town with you, travel. They might be, this could be someone in another state that you met when you were out of state or they were out of state, like they were visiting your state or something or your city, like they're not from around here kind of energy. Could be like a city boy and a country girl or, or you know, however that plays out kind of energy too. Um... So I see a distance for quite a few of you, but they're wanting this. They're wanting this love. They're wanting this to travel. They're wanting to buy you a plane ticket to come see them or vice versa. 
uh, or come see you. You know, they're wanting someone could have a motorcycle. There's, you know, they're wanting that adventure, that honeymoon, that vacation. They're wanting, they're wanting to um, see if this could go somewhere. They're wanting to explore this. Yeah, I think it was made them sad because they felt like it was a missed opportunity, but in the past, and but it, it's like a soul contract, like a past life connection, and they felt like they missed their chance. And now it's like maybe they, um, maybe some of them couldn't find you. Maybe some of them actually did not know how to find you. And they paused and reflected and they looked you up. Like they actually did like a search to find your contact info. Or they talked to, or they went to like an old club you used to go to to try to bump into you or, or something like that. Hidden motives. What's this toxicity card about? Oh, I feel like this is the karmic. The karmic felt this energetically. For some, they have a third party that you didn't know about. And they're trying to get away from that person. And so it's like they're not really cheating. But like maybe like you met and you guys had a drink together or something. And they didn't tell you that they were with someone. But it's like they um, are like going through a divorce. Or they're trying to get away from this person. So they're not really like with them. But the karmic's like holding on to them kind of energy. It's like someone here tried to block this from happening, I think. But it's not going to work. Like, they're going to reconcile. They're going to find a way to get your contact info or find you again. You know, some of them want to apologize for being, you know, for not taking the opportunity to to come through when, when they could have, you know. Domination, control. Yeah, some of them are being controlled by someone else. Some of them, this is a third, some of you guys, this is a third party situation. But they know that their happiness is with you. They know that there's some kind of beautiful spark here, some kind of angelic light here. And so even though they might barely know you, they feel really good. They feel like intuitively like there's something here, even if you just casually bump into each other and talk. So they are wanting something stable. They are wanting loyalty with you. They are wanting to plan their approach and choose their words wisely. There could be someone that's mentally unstable trying to get in the way of this, though. Because they want a home with them, too. But they're wanting, they're wanting to keep them isolated and alone and empty, but... And seduce them and whatnot. But they're, this person is trying to move forward. This person is trying to get out of here quick. And move towards you. Um, that's the energy I get. So um, anyway, I hope that resonates. And if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box. Right below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And this week only, I'm doing $40 video readings. And uh, please, you know, donate anything you can. It really helps. It adds up quickly. Uh, I appreciate the donations. Readers don't actually get a lot of donations, believe it or not. But, but you know, every even just a dollar, I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, just that energy means a lot to me, you know. Um, yeah, and please subscribe. Please share me out. Thank you guys for watching.